Hi everyone, this is Diane. Today we're going to be starting some pepper seeds on the paper towel method. Now I know a lot of you have trouble growing uh, peppers from seed and this might be a better way for you to germinate your pepper seeds instead of in the soil. I honestly do it in the soil because I have a heating mat that works really well for germinating pepper seeds. But we're going to try it this way today. You can grow peppers indoors but I think it would be best to start with to use sort of a miniature pepper type plant. Uh, the larger ones I don't think they'll do as well as a smaller miniature style. And this one today I'm doing is this called the sweet pickle pepper. It's just a smaller pepper. And I started some of these last year indoors and I'm going to do it again this year but we're going to do the paper towel method and to show you how easy it is to germ your pepper seeds doing it this way. And some of you might really love doing it this way. So much easier. So I got six pepper seeds on this paper towel and all you need to do is wet this paper towel down. Now if you have a water sprayer, hand sprayer of any kind, go ahead and use that. Okay, I have my little sprayer that I use for all my seeding. And I'm just going to take and just give it a light spray. Okay, now you're just going to want to, <clears throat> excuse me, roll it up. If it needs a little more water, go ahead. So now we're going to place it in a plastic baggie, just like so, and seal it up. Now you're going to want to set this in a warm location. Doesn't have to be lit doesn't have to have light just a warm location now I would like to set mine I actually set mine on top of the refrigerator or somewhere in a warm room where you know it's going to be really warm for it to germ at least 70 to 75 degrees I also want to say that once you go ahead and mark your baggie so you don't forget what it is and what variety of pepper it is and the date Okay, so do that. Makes it so much easier because you know when you get busy, things get hectic and you forget sometimes. Well, it's been about 10 days and finally I have about four of the pepper seeds sprouting. And you know, I've done a few different things with these. These take pretty long regardless if they are in the soil or if you are germinating them on a paper towel. Now, I had these just on a regular uh, surface where it was just room temperature for a while and I changed it up and I put them on um, on top of my fish tank where it was warmer and I think that helped with the germination but these are older seeds so they may not all germ I'm going to say there's four of them germinating these guys will be planted here real soon and hopefully you know I can show you the progress as they go I started these pepper seeds the 19th of December and as you can see they've sprouted quite well it's a little overdue but I'm gonna get these planted today uh, there's like four I think one was broken when I opened up the paper towel but you can see they leafed out here a little bit already so we're gonna plant these now you're gonna have to be careful because these attach to this paper towel and be careful with them when you try to you know loosen them so you don't break them they're a little bit delicate I'm going to be using egg cartons. Uh, got, I put some drainage holes in them. And I'm going to see how these little, these kind of act like a peat pot. So we're going to see how they do. And I am just going to be using my regular soilless mix that I use for everything. It's a peat and perlite mix. And it's, it has really good drainage. And being soilless, it cuts down on disease problems. So that's why I like to use it. You guys use what you like to use for soil. Okay, now I need to be kind of careful. Uh, this one, these are attached. This one's kind of loose. So I can take this one and make a hole. And just gently put the seed down in the soil. Just like so. Here's one that broke. So like I said, be very, very careful. This one here, the seed is detached already, but it's got a good root, so it should be fine. 
So I'm just going to press it lightly down in the soil. And I'm going to give you an update on how these guys are doing. Now this was six seeds. Five germinated pretty well. And there's one just starting to germinate right here. Did you see that? So I'm just going to stick them in here and I'm going to see what happens. I'm not going to put them very deep. He'll come out of there as long as I keep them wet. Now the rest of them, these are just the seeds that came off. One didn't germ and these are the seeds that came off the, the little seedlings. Okay, and this one broke. So all in all, not too bad. I'm going to water this in now. Now I just like to water really lightly on the top with my sprayer. Okay, this you can get in any hardware store, but I use it for water. It's actually a little sprayer. You can use it for spraying for bugs too. But I'll water that in well. And then we're going to, I'm going to let it rest a little bit. And then I'll put them under lights. Well, it's been about two days since I transplanted these peppers into these cells. And as you can see, they're coming along quite nicely. This one here was just germinating and I see that it is doing well. So I just wanted to give you an update. This has been a couple days. Well, I got two peppers left. Uh, was sick one day, didn't get down to water my peppers in time and I lost a couple. But that's kind of how it goes sometimes. But these two, this one here really looks good. This one was the little baby, and he's got a little ways to go. But at least this one's getting its next leaves coming on now. And that's a good sign. Always a good sign. But as you know, I lose plants too. And I lose them because I don't get down here soon enough to water sometimes. And being sick, I was sick for a week. And I did what I could, but I one day I just didn't get down here in time. But I think these two will make it. They look pretty good.